this gadget might just change your life. Right, so bit of backstory. Here where I live in rural Cheshire in the UK, I've been battling with, by today's standards, some pretty shocking internet speeds, both download and upload, and just general all-round connectivity and reliability issues as well that I'm sure many of you are also dealing with. So these new gadgets that I've got might be hugely beneficial for you. So because of my ongoing connectivity issues, when Devolo reached out to send me some new kit, I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try. It can't hurt. It might help fix or at least aid some of my problems, but I never thought the improvements would be this big. I know it's a real cliche now, but they've really been a game changer. Now, because this video is sponsored, it's not gonna be a review as such, but I will show you the unboxing, the setup, and I'll also show you my internet connection speeds, both prior and post installing these. So you can get an idea of what they do and the type of experience you might expect if you were to buy them. So firstly, we have both the Devolo Wi-Fi 6 Repeater 3000 and the Repeater 5400 that can be purchased and used individually or together, depending on how much extra coverage you want. In many ways, they are very similar, but there are a few key differences. Number one, price. The Devolo 3000 Wi-Fi 6 Repeater 3000, a lot of words. This comes in at $89.99 and the 5400 comes in at $129.99. Number two, the 3000 is a simple plug and play kind of, whereas the 5400 has a port for the included power adapter. And number three, both have the little add buttons. Don't know whether you can see that on the front here. And that's for setup, more on that in a second. But the 5400 has two ethernet ports to the 3000's one on the bottom. As you can set these up as both repeaters, as the names would suggest, but also as an access point that is wired via ethernet. For clarity in simple terms, an access point is usually there to help share your internet signal via a connected ethernet cable to your router or router if you're in the States. Let's not open that can of worms, bottle of water. British guy, right? Oh, God. What you got, uh, a bottle of water? Whereas a repeater extends your range, improving the signal wirelessly. In theory, a wired connection is usually considered a more consistent connection, but obviously by its very nature, a wired connection can sometimes be a bit of a hindrance during setup. Getting that cable going throughout your house might not be the most eye-pleasing. And depending on where you want to put it, it might not be practical. I wanted to put these quite a distance from the router, therefore I chose to go down the repeater route. Wireless, but both do both. Whatever method you choose, both can easily be set up in the Devolo Home app by following the simple instructions. But first let's go over the internet speeds that I've had in my property prior to setup. So when next to the router, I typically get about 50 odd down and about 9, 10 up. As I said, not what you would expect for someone whose job is tech content creation to be working with, but OpenReach unfortunately are taking their sweet time on the upgrade to full fiber in the area. And it's now looking like it's gonna be January before I can get 500 plus speeds here, even though they started the upgrade inside my property at the start of October, but we digress. And of course, all speeds are gonna be relative. I also get similar speeds pre-repeater setup in the downstairs living room, as that room is directly below where the router is. But the big problems occur over the other side of the house, in the master bedroom upstairs, in the hallway downstairs, and in the kitchen extension. Now, I tested all areas three times each for a more reliable reading, and as you can see, at each of the problem zones, I can get as low as eight or nine down. It's that tragic. So I then plugged firstly in the repeater 5400 into a socket near the router for the setup part, followed the in-app instructions and connected to the router wirelessly via the WPS button on said router. Once the 5400 is connected, you will see a green light appear in bars, which tells you on a scale how much signal your repeater is receiving from your router. Once this happens, you can then unplug and move the repeater to a place in your property to improve the overall coverage. And the in-app instructions on best places for this is super helpful. You want these to be close enough to your router to still receive a fairly decent signal to them, but also far enough away so that you're entering into those problem zones to sufficiently improve your overall coverage. 
In my case, I placed it downstairs at the very start of the kitchen at the end of the hallway to try and deal with all of the main issues in one as the master bedroom overhangs the kitchen too. And the results were truly shocking. Again, I retested the speeds in the respective rooms three times over for more accuracy, and the improvements are not to be sniffed at. The speeds next to the router were as expected similar, if not even slightly better, and the same for the living room directly below. But in the problem areas, my speeds jumped right up to almost matching the speeds right next to the router, with the lowest recorded being around in the 40s for download at the other side of the house, which it's quite staggering, really. I also followed the same steps to set up the Repeater 3000 and plugged it in at the end of the kitchen for further coverage and consistency. And I wouldn't say necessarily I needed to add this on as well, as the speeds didn't increase drastically after doing so. They certainly didn't go down though, but this definitely will depend on your budget. If you're on a limited budget, you may just want to opt for one or the other. But again, everything is property dependent. That added device, if you have a super large property, might be crucial for you. Based on the improvements I've seen, I will definitely be keeping these two plugged in once I finish this video, because I've now taken them out. They're probably struggling in the house now for signal in the kitchen. So I'm going to go into a wonderful, why isn't the internet working again? I'll definitely be replugging these in and using them even when my full fiber is finally completed so that I can get that full 500 plus speeds right throughout the property. That would be super. And for someone who previously struggled with video streaming, gaming, workflow, and just general family life in certain rooms in the house, this has been quite a big shift. Check the link in the video description below if you're interested for more information and places where you can buy these. Sub to the channel if you love everything tech. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it or and found it helpful. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Tesla TP peace out.